All right, guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over a coin called Internet Computer. Check this one out. Um, here's something here long term you want to pay attention to is possibly inflation issue that you guys know. Um, the Internet Computer is um, actually a pretty popular coin. It just hasn't done anything. So people are probably losing interest in it. But that could be good news for us. They have a massive amount of Twitter followers. I find that kind of suspicious that they have that many, but, but hey, you never know with a company of this size. Because if you go to, this, uh, to their website, um, I browse through their website and you know they have a lot of people, like they have all these people that they're hiring. So it, it was like a laundry list of, of people they were hiring guys. There's like 60 or 70 people, I think, or something like that. So this is actually a real business, you know, so they're pretty big. And um, if you look into them too, I think Andreessen Horowitz is uh, invested into it and some other pretty decent uh, um, companies that invest in two cryptocurrencies, guys. So here's, here's the deal. Let's go, over, let's go over the chart, okay? So I looked at this chart and uh, the first thing I thought is like, what is going on with this coin? And they actually came out when they had that massive crash in Bitcoin, okay? So that's what happened right here. It actually did a flat. That's a flat type move. These are these type of moves. I, I tell uh, people that are followers of my channel sometimes, you want to be careful of these flat moves. Bitcoin Cash is in a flat move like this. It's going up in an A and a B and a blast up onto a C that confuses traders. So that's what it did right there. That's a connector wave. And it swung back down into this ABC wave. Now, what's cool about this coin, guys, that uh, follower Elizabeth, Maybe you're aware of this, and um, this could actually be a really, really good opportunity to start really scoping out this coin. And with my theory that Bitcoin could drop a little bit more, possibly, and uh, go into a FOMO fifth wave, this could really, really take off and go beyond uh, these highs, guys. I mean, this is this would not really be out of line of something just up to those areas is 13,000% possibly. And um, this coin has been just, it's just been beaten down. So the question is, is this done right here? You can't get much data from the weekly chart of the RSI things. It's, it's just, it's been beaten down. So it's probably getting ready to have a, uh, a pump personally is what I think is gonna be coming. They could be setting itself up for it. So let's go into its sequence, okay? Um, there's a couple ways that you can look at this. You want to be careful. This right here is not um, a connector wave. I don't think that it is. Uh, what I mean by that, the bearish, the bearish side of this, guys, would be this is like a three-way move, and then it's coming up onto a connector wave to drop below. So your line in the sand for this coin is uh, $4.63, okay? That's your line in the sand that if you want to start – perhaps not financial advice, start playing with this coin. If it drops below that, you know it's probably going to go bearish again. However, there's a couple things I got to present to you that there could be a possibility of this going on. Now, this is this made a nice sequence. I'm very used to these moves like this, okay? They, go, they, they like to do this in diagonals. This move right here is very common, this move right here. I see a lot of moves like that, very common with those moves. So my uh, estimate with this, is that this is a uh, diagonal just because of this move right here, guys. You see this a lot right here. This is a beautiful, typical uh, wave that it made. So you can get a three-way move here, a three-way move here, a nice three-way move here, and now it's going into a fourth wave. So all you have to do is sit and wait and be patient with this coin to see if you have a good, good setup, guys. So over here in this wave, however long, let's say it takes something like that, and it comes back down to, to these areas, okay? Just like so. And, uh, and then the fourth wave will complete. And then it, if this is an expanding diagonal, you know, it could blast up into something like that, okay? And come up here. But that whole sequence, you want this sequence to play out. So this would be your one, just like so. Your one, and then it'll come down into a two. So it's going to go sideways possibly for a while, guys. This could be 30, 60 days or something like that. And then it'll go up into that three. All right, guys. So like I said, your, um, your line in the sand is going to be right in this area. 
okay? Now here's the issue though. This could become an expanding diagonal. So you wanna be aware of that too. So what I mean by that is this fourth wave can go really, really deep. With an expanding diagonal is that this fourth wave can go really deep and create a, a move like so. So one, two, three, and then swings all the way back down here just to blast back up in there again, guys. That could happen. It could, you know, go below those lows. So you want to be aware of that too. So at the end of the day, if it was me, and um, I'm going to watch it. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch this sequence for internet computer to see how this is going to suss itself out. Okay. And, and then watch a move similar to this and then see what it does on the correction. Okay. Because this right here, you'll have your answer right here. Once it's done with that sequence, wherever this goes, you, you'll have your answers. And then internet computer could be going into a third wave. And like I said, guys, um, if there's a, uh, like I projected, let me go to the three-day chart. Like I projected with Bitcoin, Bitcoin is going to come down. So here on the three-day chart with internet computer, you know, maybe Bitcoin is still in a sequence. It might come down, complete that fourth wave, blast up onto that fifth wave, possibly something like that. And then Bitcoin does a correction and then it'll come down to these areas and then, you know, you you'll be able to suss it out and get into uh, internet computer. Okay, guys. So here's, here's the, here's the thing. This has been beaten down so much, so much that it probably is going to, uh, if, if this works out, like I think it could possibly work out, it could really gain some momentum going into this wave guys. So um, this is certainly one that I'm going to be looking at uh, just because with the, if I think, the FOMO fifth wave is going to be going on with Bitcoin. You certainly could start seeing some uh, massive, uh, potentially massive targets with uh, a coin like this. Um, I think more than likely, I haven't looked on YouTube if anybody's doing videos or anything on this uh, on this coin. Um, but right now, it's not getting a lot of attention. And this this is really the time you want to start looking at this coin. Just looking at the chart and everybody's going to say that it's dead. They're going to say, oh, it's no good. It's not going anywhere. And um, that's probably right about the time you want to start paying attention to a coin like this. I don't know much about the coin. I'm going to look at to it, research it probably a little bit more just to find out. And I know companies like, uh, say, Andreessen Horowitz, they didn't get involved in this to lose money. So they plan on making something pretty sure. And just say even 50 percent. Let's just say it has some sort of wimpy run and it does 50% of its leg, you know, you're looking at pretty significant gains. But if perhaps it just decides even to get near where it was trading before, which is about $500, guys, you know, um, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up, but there's a potential there, guys. I mean, think about it. If Bitcoin is going to do a correction and there's peak, mar the market realizes that there's peak inflation, and the market starts realizing possibly the Fed could go back into QE later part of this year, okay? And uh, because of the bond yields, I, I was watching uh, Peter Schiff, and even Peter Schiff is saying that Fed's probably going to revert back to QE, okay? Even that guy. So here's the deal. If that happens, this really could just take off. I would not be surprised. Uh, to see a coin like this back up in those areas, guys. So that's my take on it. It's just patient, watch it, see what it is, you know, uh, what it's going to be doing. And then, you know, wait for that correction and then possibly could be getting into a wave. Um, now, look, I've been wrong before, but the only reason why that I think this is potentially, it's sussing itself out in a uh, mode of wave is just because of this move. I've seen these moves so many times in cryptocurrency markets and other assets. These are usually motive waves. That's how they like to end a third wave. It's just like that. They go up, down a little bit, and boom. And then they go in a fourth wave, and they come around, and they do a nice boom, boom, fifth wave like that. All right, guys? If you made it all the way to the end of my video, I do appreciate that. Drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. Peace.